Welcome back to the show. All right, you're going to be hearing a lot about ancient Egypt over the next few weeks as we near the 100th anniversary of the discovery of King Tut's tomb. A major exhibit is opening next month in Los Angeles, but if you can't wait that long, plenty of artifacts from the reign of Ramses the Great are now on display in San Francisco, and our Malou Nubla was invited to take a peek inside. Ancient Egypt comes to life here at the De Young Museum in San Francisco with an extraordinary new exhibit called Ramses the Great. And this is Renee. Hi, Renee. Hey, hello. I'm so glad to have you here and share this with you. Well, so this is so exciting. Can you tell us about who is Ramses the Great? Oh, well, Ramses the Great lived around 1300 BC, and he was by far the mightiest and the most celebrated of the pharaohs of the New Kingdom when Egypt was at its height, when it was wealthy, when it was prosperous, when it was strong. Okay, so he became a pharaoh at 25. Yeah, he was the son of a pharaoh, Seti the first, and he became a pharaoh when he was in his 20s. And then, believe it or not, he lived until he was 92 years old, which means that he reigned for more than 66 years. Yeah, he did a lot in those years. All right, so he did a lot. So that means there's a lot here, a lot of artifacts. Tell us about what people will see here at this exhibit. Well, you, 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 right get, to see, <laughs> you get to see Ramses wearing the crown of Upper Egypt, a beautiful red granite head. But the most amazing thing about it is you recognize Ramsey's face. It's round cheeks. You see that round face, that sweet smile. All right, so this is one of how many artifacts are here for this exhibit? 181 artifacts. I'm sure they're all highlights, but what are some other highlights? Gorgeous examples of jewelry. The gold, the lapis lazuli, all of the gemstones, the beautiful things that the Egyptians knew how to create. All right, you had me at jewelry. Can we go check that out, Renee? Let's do it. So this is beautiful, and there's, it's more than jewelry here, Renee. Oh, everything in this exhibition is more than, it, it meets the eye, because everything in ancient Egyptian times was symbolic. And if you look at that broad color, the necklace that was worn by a princess, you see that it has heads of a falcon. That represents the god Horus. And the different colors of the stone also represent different things. So you have the red of carnelian, that it was symbolic of blood. And you have a green feldspar, that is the new growth in the springtime. Uh, you know, everything means something to the ancient Egyptians. It, the gold. And the gold. The, <laughs> the gold, gold. The gold is everywhere. In this part of the exhibit, these are animal mummies. They are not human mummies. I was thinking human. Oh, we didn't bring human mummies this time. Uh, but animal mummies. Animal. The, the gods oftentimes had uh, animals that were representations of themselves. And for example, we have a box that has uh, over, a, well, it has hundreds of, of mummified scarab beetles in it. You see the scarab beetles on the top of the box. The scarab represented the sun moving across the heavens. What is this one, Renee? <laughs> that, that is a, a coffin for a crocodile mummy. And that mummy was uh, uh, related to the god Sobek. His animal was a crocodile. So offerings, prayers could be made with this, this crocodile mummy going directly to the gods so that he would answer your prayer. Oh, so fun to learn about all of this. Okay, you also have um, a virtual immersive, another sort of immersive experience here? Yes, we do. Uh, it's a separate ticket and it is in a room. It has uh, a 3D virtual reality where Nefertari, Ramses the Great's favorite wife, 
takes you through the tour of the big temples in Abu Simbel in Nubia and her very gorgeous tomb in the Valley of the Queens. Renee, what an extraordinary exhibit here. Randy the Great at the De Young Museum in San Francisco. Make sure you check it out. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was wonderful. All right, you can really get lost in there. And be sure to tune in tomorrow as Museums Week continues with my visit to the Motion Picture Academy's new exhibit celebrating icons of black cinema. You don't want to miss it.